hybrid. That's a huge two piece to start things off here. And the kill feed continues to light up red. Now, will Rutgers Black know which side they're spawning on? You can see it on your mini map. The spawns coming in, they're all coming from caution. And Hybrid is in the right spot on this Contest. All they need is about seven more seconds, five more seconds. Lucane continuing to pick up kills. Here comes the Contest from JT Speed. Red's there to pick up the kill, and they continue to get this time. And it looks like Rutgers Black is going to hang on to win this game. NJIT, you give them credit. They fought back in that one, but it just wasn't enough. In the end, Rutgers Black take map one. Eddie feels like it has the possibility of going the distance. I mean, how could you not love that, right? It gets to that point where it's 2.30, 2.30, and you can see that teams have completely thrown out setups, thrown out rotations. It's all about just getting to the hill and continuing to pile on the bodies. Who can win the trades? Who can win the gunfights? You saw it there as things got hectic. It was Rutgers Black who had the poise, who had the composure in those moments to hang on and get the win. It gets finished off, and JIT finally get onto the board. This guy, Money G, is the finesse god over there at A, getting up on top ring, sliding around by the rocks. So, so hard to kill over there. And that's really something in Cold War that it plays a major role. How can you, how well are you able to finesse around one object, the movement, the slides, the jumps, all that different stuff, just time wasting so his teammates can come off spawn, get to the point and, sh and give him some support up to 24 and 19 right now. But what you really should be looking at is those 21 objective points for Money G has been all over the points throughout this control. And you have to expect that to continue. But can he get a little more support on this offense from some of his teammates? Up Rutgers Black with beautiful strategy pick up round one. I have to, I mean, wholeheartedly agree. That is perfect strategy in a, in a round of control. Like you said, you you focus over by A, then you switch things to B. You're just going back and forth between the two sites. You're keeping NJIT guessing. And then finally here, when they get to B, all they need is one tick. Rather than stacking the point, you probably could have done that and gotten things done quickly. You're seeing red in the kill cam here. Maintaining control of the spawns and of the map. Letting his teammates just sit in the hill, soak up the time, and, win, and end up with the win. It's not necessarily about stacking the point every time as much as it is about holding down control of the map so your teammates can safely stack the point by themselves.